with your brighter tie Cause I'm low on the phone, you say So I talk till I drop, you say how could I Have a heart made of stone, why you Oh, when we synchronize It's exactly what I throw and I fantasize Playing games with my mind, making us collide And we know how it goes when we're out at night and I don't know how we make it out when we make out on the low Even if it rains, you'd rather make it snow Both you and me know we gotta let it go Laying on the ground, wondering why it's so cold How we make it out when we make out on the low Even if it rains, you'd rather make it snow Both you and me know we gotta let it go Laying on the ground, wondering why Ready to march into your top plays of the week. Let's see what's blooming in these fresh cut play bouquets. Our first play is from Machiavelli 1020 in the wreck. Don't be intimidated into quitting when your team is down. The mighty Mississippi River carving its path through Memphis, Tennessee, where we're coming to you from tonight. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Kevin, thanks very much. The Wizards have struggled the last couple of years, so some people were surprised that Bradley Beal signed an extension there. Beal said, today a lot of stars want to team up. No knock, but I'm a firm believer in sticking with what you got. If I win a championship in D.C., that'll hold way more weight than if I just left and tried to get one. Kevin? Oh, I love that story. David, thank you. A moment here now to see the numbers for him. And his three-point shooting has gotten a lot better over his last 10 games. He looks so much more comfortable from beyond. There's no doubt he's got the green light to let it fly whenever the shot's there for him. And now Washington's starting group. Mo Wagner out there with Rui Hachimura. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then there's Bradley Beal. And it's Matthews in at the three slot. And for Memphis, they've got Anderson. He's out there with Jonas Valanciunas. John Morant, he's out there with Brooks. 
Greg, the two words you and I don't like yeah. the most in this game, load management. Why do we see more of it now than when you played in the game? A couple of things. Uh, I think sports science has evolved, and I've talked to a ton of coaches about this. The reality is that now they don't determine whether or not a guy's going to play. It's going to be the, the people that work with the strength and conditioning. They determine if a guy is ready to go. Secondly, I would also say the contracts now, the investments that teams have in these assets, you want to try to prolong their careers as long as possible. And so I think it's a smart move from an investment standpoint. Well, you bring up some great points. Uh, what a baller this guy is. I love watching Bill come right back with the payback trip. And, yes, it's good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Westbrook. Really played well against the Clippers in his last outing. And that one's good. Morant. Oh, you can't defend this any better. I mean, sometimes Morant is just going to score no matter what you throw at him. About one minute into the first quarter. Here's Matthews. Alan Junis grabs the board. He doesn't get the finish, but the D's got to be quicker to rotate and stop him from getting to the rim. Count the basket. Morant's got six. And early on, they look great. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. Westbrook surveying the D. And finished off by Westbrook. This is Westbrook at his best, attacking, going strong at defenders, and finishing them. Here's Morant. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. Great D that time from Westbrook. Well, they weren't going to stay perfect forever, but still shooting 80% from the floor to start the game. From outside, off the mark. Look at Memphis. They want to turn it around after the loss to Milwaukee. And here's Anderson from the arc. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Encouraging to see Anderson drain the triple. He's showing he has the range needed to make this shot. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Memphis shooting their first free throw of the night. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. multi-talented Anderson. I mean, he, he's awesome, man. He, he's an awesome glue guy, if you ask me. Someone who scores, rebounds, passes, defends. I mean, name it. He does it. Now here's Westbrook. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. They get it back. Here's Hachimura. Sinks it after the KG pump fake playing his role, captures the rebound and gets it right back up. Good job by Hachimura. And Hachimura's given name, Rui, means fortress in Japanese. And that's what he looks like out there. He's worked hard in the weight room, sports a solid frame with a terrific core and, and that great lower body strength. For the finish, and finished off by Morant. Oh, unstoppable four court play. Morant just explodes off the steel and delivers it straight to the hoop. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Now here's Beal. 33 points last game. They grabbed their own miss. And that one's good, Wagner. Uh, toughness and energy on the boards. An easy putback to show for. Here's Morant. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. John Morant again. And you combine Hachimura's power with that 7-2 wingspan, Greg. He's physically built to succeed in a positionless NBA. And add to that, Kevin, he's got solid athleticism along with a versatile skill set. Hachimura still needs to work on creating off the dribble, shooting the jump shot with consistency, but time out, time with his work ethic, there's a good chance he turns those into strength. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. You have to like what you're seeing from John Morant. He's running wild. They had to call a timeout just to take away at least some of his moments.
This pause in the action gives us a chance to see the teams that have scored the most points off turnovers this month. Number one, the Grizzlies. In the third position, the Wizards. And both teams have done a nice job of converting mistakes into fast break hoops. I mean, that is critical. Westbrook against Morant. For the three. Westbrook can't get it to go. And the Grizzlies leading by 14. Here's Valanciunas. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Wizards. Last time they met was in Washington. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. Well, how often do we hear it? You know, you've got to take care of the basketball. I mean, they got to be much more disciplined tonight. And he comes up with the deuce. Moran's got 16. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Westbrook passes to Hachimura. Nice ball movement by Washington. And Matthews gets it to go. Yeah, with Westbrook on the ball, you can't have a hole in your defense. He's too smart to miss it. Memphis has gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Rams and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And what an incredible shot in the arm for this franchise. The opportunity to draft a potential superstar in Ja Morant. And they had only a 6% chance of landing that number two overall pick. That free throw, no good. They've had a lot of good players come through Memphis over the years, GA, but probably no one with Moran's upside. He has future league MVP potential. Once the three-point shot is consistent, once he cuts back on the turnovers, I just don't know how you stop him. He hits the second from the line. You know Jean Moran's such a dynamic guard. His combination of speed and creativity makes for some tough matchups. Down low. And Westbrook gets it to go. Westbrook's got his second basket of the game. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Morant against Westbrook. And John Morant with the three. Oh, he is in a zone. Nine of ten here in the first. He is red hot. And Westbrook, here we go. Two points, that one goes. Westbrook's got six. He, he's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Through the net again. He's done that ten times tonight, and he's only needed 11 shots to get there. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Well, you think defensively that you try to pack in the lane. I mean, but that, then that opens up some opportunities for the shooters. Here's Brooks. Lays it up off the glass. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Wizards trail by 18. Bounce pass from Westbrook. Pass to Beal. Here's the three. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got his third assist on the night. This is what you think of when you hear Bill's name. A dangerous three-point shooter. There's the triple. Grizzlies with the rebound. Alan Junis has got five rebounds tonight. Bain. Money from the wing. He's got five. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Outside, Beal. Beal can't get that one to fall. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Wasted no time on that one. And the Grizzlies lead by 19. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Stolen by Anderson. Bain. And he converts the layup. And I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. 
Going for the juggler right off the bat. I mean, jumping out to an impressive early lead. Washington calls timeout. Greg, you and I talk about the big man, his role in the current NBA, and how they can possibly carry the standard for the great centers before them. And you played with the great one and, and Patrick Ewing, so you have a great appreciation, I would I would think, for it. Oh, no doubt about it. And, and I think two guys kind of separated themselves a little bit. Uh, Nikola Jokic and, and Joel Embiid, I, I think, are the two guys that stand out for me because of their ability, in, in essence, to do everything well. They can shoot it, they pass it, they can shoot it from the free throw line, they give you rim protection. Uh, I, I throw Rudy Gobert up there as an elite center as well. Doesn't have the offensive impact that those guys have, but he does impact the game as well. Three young, dynamic centers. Those are good names. So Memphis ends up going with a new group. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Wizards trail by 21. Get on Beal. Beal the pass to Lopez. Outside Beal. Kicks to Avdia. Six to shoot. Back to Beal. Three pointer. Sinks the three pointer. Beal's got nine points. Such a dangerous score. Bill, Bill, he's superb at knowing when to fire immediately off the catch and shoot. He is a fantastic athlete for a power forward. Whatever he lacks in height, he makes up for it with Hop. And so it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. Well, it helps when your opponent makes that many mistakes. I thought that was the story of the game. And when they kept getting all those gifts, they took advantage. Turnovers don't mean anything unless you turn them into points. Here's Melton, and he drops it in from the low post. And the Grizzlies lead by 20. Washington's gone 3 of 7 from three-point range in the first quarter. And Jones over to help. Shot from 16. They get it again. Lopez tries yet again. And there's the pass to Beal. It's deflected. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. Clark with it. Now Avdia defending. This is the mindset Clark has. He's opportunistic and really has an awareness of when to attack in transition. Here's Neto. An 11-point game for him in the win against the Clippers. Pass to Beal. Jacks up a three. Washington gets a bet. Pass to Avdia. Back to Bertans. Hands it from downtown. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And the Grizzlies leading by 19. Here's Melton. And he makes that one. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Neto surveying the floor. Got a piece of it. Good D by Jones. Clark into the lane. Oh, oh look oh, at him. Oh, oh, Why? Looking nimble on the drive there. Once Clark sees an opening in the defense, he's looking to exploit. Washington's gotten a lot of shots off from three-point land in the first quarter, but they're only four of nine. Here's Pertinus, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Melton's shot is good. Melton's got six. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Washington shooting pretty efficiently out there. It is in 48% in the first quarter. Avdia kicks to Beal. Here's Lopez. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Oh, well, Lopez is terrific on the offensive glass. I love seeing him use his long arms to haul in the boards. Melton's shot is good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now especially on the interior. Melton's gone four for four from the field. Perfect so far. Neto, the pass to Beal. 
And the Wizards hit again from deep. Taking things into his own hands. He's been a beast this quarter. Melton's shot is good. He's got 10. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And the Wizards with possession. Deal with it. 12 points for him. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Oh, man. Excellent display of recognition on the rejection. Bill seems to be a step ahead of the opposition. Here's Neto. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Yep, it counts. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Good on the bucket. They couldn't have asked for much more from him today. He's been a key force in their offense. Now the Wizards with it. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first. Beal with it. Now Beal defending. And here we go. The Grizzlies on a fast break. Here's Tillman. An easy two points on the layup. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. Lays it up and banks it in. Tillman's got his second basket of the night. Oh, no hesitation to get it to the rim. He uses his height advantage to convert the easy. John Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for the Memphis Grizzlies. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. Back right after this. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, the Grizzlies enjoying a nice lead here. They came in on a mission, razor sharp offense in that first period. Yeah, and now they got to find a way to keep it going, keep growing that lead. Now Beal. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So on the floor for Memphis. Brandon Clark is out there with Justice Winslow. Then it's Tyus Jones. And it's Tillman in at the five spot. And though he's very active at the offensive end, Melton probably makes his biggest impact defensively. I agree, G.A. He works hard, shows good instincts and reads the passing lanes very well. He's also disruptive with his speed, his length. And I like that he can play physical. He, he can get you out of your rhythm. You know, Greg, you'd probably know as well as anyone, what was it like going up against the Bulls in the 90s? Shooting. You know, it, it's weird to say, but in a lot of ways, they were, we were a lot like they were. Uh, Hall of Fame talent at the coach, a, a defensive-minded team, but... The one difference was, you know, the Bulls had that guy that wore that number 23. I think I'd say that might have been the one difference. And he knocks down the first one. And so Jones nails both of them. Washington's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Neto with the bucket. Neto's got his first basket of the night. Well, he'll take advantage of that kind of soft defense every time. Just give him a chance to attack the basket, and he will. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Now, John Morant says in an era of five-star recruits, 
He was a no-star recruit coming out of high school, and that put that big chip on his shoulder. Now he has Beneath No One tattooed on his arm. And he says, my dad always told me that I was trained to go, basically that I'm built for the moment. And guys, his time is now. Sure is, DA, thank you. The Wizards shooting their first foul shot of the night. So both teams making some changes here. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. So timeout call here. Timeout. The first for timeout. Memphis. And let's take a look at the last handful of seasons and the steal numbers for Russell Westbrook. And when you see the tumble his steal totals have taken the last few What's years, you, you can see that he's gotten away from playing the kind of gritty, hard-nosed D he was known for. That, that's an aspect of his game he needs to get back. Well, at this stage of his career, Lopez knows who he is. He's a hustler on both ends whose energy is simply infectious. Here's Jones. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Here's Neto. Outside Westbrook. Back to Neto. No one near him. And that's a foul called on Davis Bertans. That is his first foul of the game. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot. So for the Wizards, Mo Wagner's checked in for Lopez. Hachimura comes in for Davis Bertans. And it's Matthews in for Raul Neto. For Memphis, they've gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Grant and finished off by Morant. Well, it's been all about job ja tonight. I mean, can score in many different ways. Washington's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Matthews passes to Hachimura. Back to Matthews. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Oh, it doesn't have to break stride at all thanks to the money lead pass. It's Morant with the drive, and it's good two points. Uh, well, you see the burst. Morant very hard to catch once he gains a step. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Wizards. Passes to Wagner. Now here's Westbrook. D right on him. In the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. Oh, showing the muscle right there. I love how Westbrook takes on all comers when he's trying to score. That one good for two. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's Brooks. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Well, inside, Brooks goes all out. Willing to fight hard to get to his shot. Right side, Westbrook. And the dunk by Westbrook. 
The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. So Morant will go to the free throw line. They get Russell Westbrook. And judging Morant's game early on, I've heard a few people with Allen Iverson comparisons. Well, put me in that number as well. That's, that's going to be tough to fill up, but it just means he has the potential, the quickness, the athletic ability, the IQ, the handles. They're both lightning fast, slight builds, and both tough. And you see the explosive ability to get to the rim and finish. I'm going to ask my boy AI what he thinks about the young Ja. And Westbrook throws it down. Man, that's just the competitive spirit of Westbrook. He's always eager to make a statement at the rim. Now, here's Morant for three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. He's putting the hammer down. Dominant quarter for him, trying to push out that lead. Wizards have gone seven and nine, and their field goal attempts here in the second quarter. Pretty good offense. Matthews against Morant. Matthews, no one around him, and the wing jumper offline. Power down with both hands. Oh, you can tell Valanciunas has really been working on his passing. Nice dime right there. Washington's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Ripped away. Here's Morant. He gets that one. Morant's got 36. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, he just caught the defense napping. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range when there's no hand in his face. And finished off by Morant. That's what a point guard with length gives you. I mean, Morant is built perfectly for the modern game. And here's Westbrook. 12 points for him. It's Matthews on the wing. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got assist number five here tonight. His shooting has been a bright spot for them. Otherwise, uh, they struggle as a whole. No good from Valanciunas. Washington's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Valanciunas. Memphis on defense. Now here is Hachimura. Nine points last game out. Here's Wagner. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. I don't know how Wagner keeps that on target through the contact. A show of strength and concentration. Here's Morant. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And what scouts loved about Hachimura, physically he came in NBA ready. Oh, yeah. GA 6'8", 230, shows excellent strength. Also, being relatively late to the game, he's really never developed any bad habits. That's why he was able to come in and hit the ground running. And the first one drops. We know how important the draft is, Greg. It can it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs? That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how Hill. about Kobe going to the Lakers? Uh, Mikhail and Parrish coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit and, and I tell you what boy it, it can really transform a franchise's future and here's Westbrook he'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards they host the 76ers after this game that game marks the start of a five game homestand the longest of the season stolen by Anderson goes up 
And that one's good. Morant. Morant's got 42 in the game. And with the game he's having, there's no doubt he'll be the guy they lean on to protect the lead. Matthews dishes to Westbrook. And finished off by Westbrook. Uh, he uses his finesse to get flashy. I mean, Westbrook is an elite above the rim finisher. And finished off by Morant. I mean, this could end up being a big night for him. I mean, if this quarter is any indication. Here's Westbrook. He's got 14. Banked in off the glass. Westbrook's got 16 points. And started hot, and he's only gotten hotter. And they double up Morant. Shoots over Avdia. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Now here's Matthews. He's got 10. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got six assists in the game. Well, that's almost a sure thing when you leave him that wide open on the perimeter. I mean, that's his sweet spot. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. So Morant will go to the free throw line. They get Russell Westbrook. The Grizzlies have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. and they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Washington's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. The pass to Hachimura. Back to Westbrook. To the middle. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, inside, Hachimura runs into tough D, but he gets aggressive and draws a good fire. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Hachimura. Chris, you look at last year's all-defensive first-teamers. Four out of five of those guys were 6'10 or taller. Clearly, size is an advantage. Yeah, yeah, size or, or at least length. I mean, long arms, you know, with that comes block steals and deflections. You know, as long as you can move your feet, though, bigger is better. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Clark's checked in. He hits both from the stripe. When, when Hachimura debuted in the NBA, he, he exploded with a double-double. Now he's really found his rhythm and continues to impress. Another one goes. Incredible. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. No one near Westbrook as he lets it go. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Deep two from Brooks, and he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Brooks has got six. Just giving up way too many transition opportunities. Beal deciding where to go with it. Knocks down the step back, Jay. This is why I love his game. You really have to admire his tenacity. Ring shot on the way, and it's Memphis with another. Oh, you can't forget about his jumper. Valanchunas is very capable of hurting you from this spot. And Beal kicks to Wagner. Stolen. It's Brooks on the wing. He's covered by Beal. And Brooks gets it to go. They are just killing him on the interior. Washington's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Outside, Beal. Now, here's Wagner. He's covered by Clark, and it's Wagner missing. 
Memphis has gone along perfectly from three-point range. Tonight, they've gone five for five. And again! And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. The shot by Westbrook. And again, Washington, no good. Uh, come on, you, you got to get up on him and play some defense. They won't get away with that next time. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. So it's the Wizards now. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Beal finds Westbrook. Wagner controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Well, at almost seven feet, Wagner can really own the boards, grabs the rebound, and finishes the play strong. I count that one. Brooks has got ten. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And the wide-open shot from Avdia. Off target with his three. Memphis has gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. And that one is good. Oh, this is just being a good team. I mean, Morant making sure to whip the ball over to his open man. Here's Washington now. Westbrook passes to Avdia. Here's Hachimura. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Hachimura's got his second basket of the night. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. Bain. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. But this game would have a different look if it wasn't for his shooting. I mean, 100% from the field for him. Westbrook kicks to Beal. Misses the three. And after that great first quarter from three-point range, he has finally come back to earth. Now, here's Avdia. He's guarded closely. It's good. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Bain lays it up and in on the nice reverse. He's got 15. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. It's Beal on the wing. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. And even after all those three-pointers he hit in that first quarter, it looks like the D still didn't learn its lesson as they've left him open for another one. That'll be a five-second call. So it's both teams making substitutions here. 43 seconds left in the first half. The wide-open look here for Lopez. Second shot opportunity. Avdia can't hit. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. Wizards shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. Here's Beal. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Beal's got seven points here in this quarter. Look, at times, there's no defense for Bill. Even if you're in his jersey, he keeps his shot high so you can't get to it. A nice shot by Winslow. Just playing with poise and confidence, and they continue to put points on the board. They're just playing smart basketball, reading the floor well and executing. Deal with it. Here's Neto. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Grizzlies out in front, just dominating this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Jonas, you guys got off to a strong start. How important was it to set the tone early? You know, we came out with a different energy. We said it's enough to struggle from the start. You know, we got to focus and play good starts. That is where it all starts. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. There was no stopping John Morant in the first half. He had a scoring performance for the ages, putting up an enormous amount of points, three assists and also three steals. He's in a crazy zone right now and seems to be even hotter than he was in their last game. Kenny, what'd you think about the Grizzlies? 
Well, they just about ran their offense to perfection. They pounded the ball inside, and the entry feeds were on time and on the money. It was a clinic to watch. The second half is going to be no contest if they keep getting shots eight feet and in. And over to Shaq now, he'll take on the Wizards. Well, they were playing like it was Christmas, Ernie. Giving up a lot of turnovers. There's no excuses for the turnover numbers, sloppy ball handling. They look out of control, and the execution was all over the place. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Guys, John ja Morant has been sensational. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Yeah, I mean, showing that tenacity both mentally and physically. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Second half is underway, and here's who Scott Brooks has got on the floor. They've got Bradley Beal. Hachimura out there with Mo Wagner. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Three. And it's Matthews in at the three, the small forward. Here's Brooks. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Westbrook against Morant. Outside Westbrook. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That's his first foul. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. A lot of answers, but still a lot of questions for how the East is going to ultimately shake out this year. But right now, let's check out where the team stands. A look at the Wizards. They're way down there in the conference standings, looking for a lot of improvement during the second half of the season. And you know, for the Wizards, they talked all offseason about how this year was going to be different. Nobody bought into it then, and nobody's buying into it now. Oh, you all know, talking the talk is easy, but carrying through, that's another story. The naysayers' predictions were basically on point. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime on the defensive end. Russell, Russell. Well, shot's good from Westbrook. Well, you, you think a little bump is going to stop Russ? Man, come on. No way. Total focus on that basket. And when you think about being fashion forward, Russell Westbrook's fearlessness extends to his game day outfits. Well, bro, come on, G.A. Russ lives by the model. Why not? I mean, the same reckless abandon we see on the court, yeah, it's reflected in his clothing. Well, then we know that Morant can make this shot. The defense has to defend him better next time. Washington's gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Westbrook and finished off by Westbrook. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Westbrook double team. Pass to Wagner. The three-pointer no good. 
Grizzlies have gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Rebound, Washington. Deal with it. He's picked up by Morant. Beal against Morant. Now here's Westbrook. He's tightly guarded, and he makes good on the layup. Westbrook's got 22. Oh, the flashy ball handling of Westbrook. So clever at creating scoring opportunities for himself. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Now here's Matthews. 16 points for him. Westbrook can't get it to go. Here's Morant. Off on the layup. Well, the Wizards shooting a hot 57% from the field in the third. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Good on the three-point shot. He's got 25. Because of Westbrook's dynamic driving ability, sometimes the defense will give him some space from deep. Oh, jams it right over Valanchunas. Wow. Wow. We are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Here's Westbrook. 27 points for him. Pass to Beal. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Oh, he's a go-to scorer. Once Beal starts to heat up, you better watch out. For Memphis, they've gone 6-9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Wizards. Alan Junis grabs the board. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. No, you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. Westbrook against Morant. Anderson with the block. And, and blocks like this fire Anderson up, which in turn get his teammates going as well. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. Emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Winslow's checked in. On defense, Memphis. Top of the key, Hachimura. Down to five on the shot clock. And again, Washington, no good. The Grizzlies have gone seven of 11, a lucky field goal percentage here in the third. And Brooks gets it on the assist by Anderson. Brooks has got eight points in the quarter. It's all clicked into place for him this quarter. He's not missed a single shot. Beal gets a wide open look. Misses off the right iron. Uh, a little surprise he took the jump shot with nobody around him. He could have attacked the basket. And the shot is good. If they close this win out, I know who my MVP is. His offensive performance tonight has been unreal. Out of bounds, Washington takes possession. Wizards making a switch here. Lopez is checked in. Here's Westbrook and the dunk by Westbrook. Yeah, Westbrook is really racking up points. I mean, the focus he's brought to this game is just incredible. Here's Jones and another basket for Memphis. For Washington, they've gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. The basket counts and one. They'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. The Wizards shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. 
Clark, he's checked in for Memphis. Raul Neto's checked in for the Wizards. That one falls for Bertans. Memphis has gone along perfectly from three-point range. Tonight, they've gone five for five. Melton, no good. Washington's gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. That's tipped. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. Yeah, the defender all over him. The Wizards shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And the first one at the line is good. And we so often talk about the elite scoring, but Beal's playmaking is now reaching that same level. Yeah, it just shows you how talented and unselfish he is. All he wants to do is win. I mean, that talent requires help from your teammates. So he uses his vision and instincts and ability to keep them involved. And that one goes in, too, from the line that time. And, you know, we often talk about Beal's skill set and his finesse. He can play a very physical game as well, Greg. He doesn't have a choice. I mean, he had four brothers who all played football in college, so he kind of grew up around the physicality. And you can also tell Bill's taking his strength and conditioning seriously, especially after having the lower body injury issues earlier in his career. And it's Washington's ball. A big stretch here going 10-2. Bonga, no good. And here are the Grizzlies. Here's Tillman. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Yeah, and it's inexcusable. They're all too common. Basketball one-on-one. -on -one. When the shot goes up, put a body on someone. Oh, how about using the rim to get some true hang time? You know, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. And a quick look at the numbers for Bradley Beal. Averaging 33 points, four assists, and five rebounds. And he does so much for this team, but it starts with the way he leads the offense. Yeah, he's willing to take on the scoring load, and he's more than capable of delivery. Two shots. First free throw is good. Obdiev's checked in for the Wizards. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Now Bertans, 12 points for him. Outside, Beal. Here's Neto. Got a piece of it. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. For Memphis, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. One shot. And so it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. Passes it to Beal. From past the arc. And the call will be against Robin Lopez. And that'll be his third foul so far. Second team foul. 
Memphis has gone along perfectly from three-point range. Tonight, they've gone five for five. Jones, no luck. Washington's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Here's Avdia, and he lays it straight in. Avdia's got six. The Grizzlies shooting a stellar 60% since the halftime break. Jones for three. Good on the triple. He's got 13. He might not have the long-range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. Here's Beal, and the shot goes down. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. Here's Jones. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Good D by Lopez. From the Wizards, they're shooting 54% since they had a chance to talk things over at halftime. They're looking uh, locked in out there now. And Beal gets it to go. Oh, man, he rebounds much bigger than his size. Bill will get scrappy when fighting for the boards. Here's Tillman. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Tillman's got four points now in the quarter. Washington shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. A floater. Neto can't get it to go. Memphis has gone 6 or 7 from long range tonight. They've been on fire from way outside. Took him no time at all on that one. Winslow's got his second bucket of the night. So it's the Wizards now. Beal the pass to Avdia. Lopez outside. And here is Berton. To the inside. Nato. And it's blocked. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. Here's Winslow, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Winslow's got his third basket of the night right there. Winslow's gone three for three from the floor. Over in the corner, Avdia. The Wizards with another miss. Memphis has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Now a timeout, timeout, timeout. called by Memphis. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. While we have the chance, we'd like to reveal the list of the past month's best fast-break teams in the NBA. In third, the Grizzlies. I mean, it's about the pace they've played with here offensively. They don't look like they're showing any signs of slowing down. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Melton's got five points now in the quarter. And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. Beal up top. He's got 32. Misses from short range. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Winslow shot is off. They're having trouble stopping this run. And the more trips they continue to come up empty, the more the pressure builds on them. So the wing on the left. Here's Neto, defended by Jones. Offensive rebound. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. All right, a moment here to look at the stats for Bertans. How his last 10 games have gone. Fourth in free throw percentage, and he's a flamethrower from distance. Top 10 in the league and three-point shooting. And he's been deadly from the free throw line. Only a handful of players are shooting a better percentage. Phenomenal asset to have on your team.
Two shots. Relax on the first. The first one falls. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Matthews, he's checked in for Beal. And he makes both free throws. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for Memphis. Here's Melton. He's got 15. Poked away. Matthews with the steal. And now the fast break. Matthews with the ball. The pass to Bertans. Drills it from outside. Bertans got 10 points now just in this quarter. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, and they aren't just chucking up anything. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality looks. Now, here's Avdia. Brandon Clark missing his last shot. Bucket is good. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Matthews with a steal. Here's Neto. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Oh, that's some skill on that assist. I mean, the timing has to be perfect on a lead pass. Here's Melton. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Melton's got 17. Impressive, really, from that short 17 area. They are not missing many. And Clark over to help. Here's Bertans for three. Lopez dishes to Avdia. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. No one covering. Matthews has got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Wizards. Here's Jones, and it's Memphis with another. I mean, he's out there on an island all by himself. I mean, good job to stay cool and train. Here's Neto, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Neto's got his third bucket of the night. Just four seconds left in the third. Here's Jones. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Yeah, great job of getting a look before the horn sounded and gaining some momentum. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies, enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. And they've created a bunch of turnovers with that terrific D. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And here are the Grizzlies now. They've got Jones. He's out there with McDermott. And it's Tillman in at the power forward. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Now here's Jang. And here's McDermott. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. McDermott's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Grizzlies. It's Matthews on the wing. No good on the triple. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. McDermott can't get it to go. The Wizards shooting it really well. 54% from the floor. Neto kicks to Len. And the rejection by Jang. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. It's Matthews on the wing. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Matthews has got nine points now in just the second half. Three triples in the first half. Three in the second. Boy, do they add up. And the basket by Jones. The real come at us. And we're coming right back at you. <laughs> hey, man. 
Fans, talk about it. The great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Memphis has gotten all but one of their three-pointers to go down in this game. They've gone seven of eight so far. Traps in the tray. Conchar's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Here's Neto. Knocks it loose. Here's Tillman. Here's Jang. Makes it off the glass. Jang's got his first bucket in this one. There he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. So active, so energetic, helping to lead the charge for this team. Brown, good. Well, he's not going to get an easier look than that. You don't need to double team him, but you can't leave him all alone. That's the Tillman. Wizards have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Neto with the bucket. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Here's Jones. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Oh, exactly. Give it to the guy with the hot hand as long as you can. Let him try to close this out. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Tillman's shot is good. Now here's Brown. Lopez outside. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. He feeds it to Len. And he uses the glass on the layup. Land's got his first points of the night. Uh, look, that's a nice play. You need low post scoring to keep your offense balanced. Let's it fly from 18. And it's off the back rim. No good. The rotation in the D could be better here. It, it'll cost them next time if it's not. Brown, good. Oh, great flow to that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. Jones with it. He's picked up by Lopez. Jones, no luck. Not the guy you expect to be missing the bunny. Inside, Nato tries again. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Clearly a foul. Greg, we are in an era of positionless basketball, and we know the All-Star game now he has a two backcourt, three frontcourt position as opposed to two guards, two forwards, and a center when you're voting. Should they get rid of those designations entirely? I tell you what, I, I think you could make a strong case for that. But you go back to last season, many felt Jimmy Butler got robbed of a starting spot. I, yes. I think, he, he, listen, this is the fans' vote. Why not the five top vote getters? I don't care if they're four guards. If the five players that the fans want to see the most play a certain position, then so be it. You know, they're not going to play all 48 minutes. You're still going to have your seven other spots to kind of balance out the roster. I say just let the fans tell you the five they want to see and let's go play. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. And the Wizards making a change here. Russell. Westbrook's checked in. The Wizards have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Shot from free throw range. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Westbrook's got 15 points in just the second half. You can just see the passion and love with which he plays the game. You see how he prepares, the work ethic, the way he interacts with his teammates. And when he hits the floor, it's all about the game. Washington with the ball. Following the score by Memphis. Knocks down the three ball. Robinson's got his first three points of the game. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a, a loss of concentration that time. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Conchar, good. Like we're seeing the game evolve. We're seeing more and more big men displaying perimeter skills. 
Do you like that? Or is there a part of you that misses those days when it all played out inside the lane in a very condensed area? Listen, Kev, I think the game has kind of evolved on from uh, the impact that the bigs had on, on the interior, but not the impact that they're having on the game. Uh, it, 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 the reality is the game just doesn't stand still. And, and now as a big, you've got to have far more versatility. you got to be able to play in space. Uh, and, and as a fan, I just find the game to be more appealing to watch with the freedom of movement, the flow, uh, and, and more of the skill set being put on display. I agree. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. You know, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Grizzlies have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. Here's Jones, again Memphis. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. Washington's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Westbrook passes to Brown. Back to Westbrook. Trying to get open his land. And timeout, finished timeout. off by Westbrook. Hey, that's the sauce right there. Sorry. Westbrook with the elite handle. Gets all the space he needs for the shot. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. Greg, your son's been drafted. You were drafted in the NBA. As you look back on the process that you went through and your son Cole has gone through, uh, what are some of the flags? What are some of the things that stand out to you? First and foremost, boy, how time flies. I mean, it wasn't yeah, no that kidding. long ago, at least no it feels kidding. like, that they were calling my <laughs> na name on draft night. But... 91, you know, right? Yeah. 91. You know, every stage of life, though, has its joys. And listen, to play the game I love and now see him playing it at this level, it's truly a blessing. And in his case, he, he probably loves it even more. You know, he didn't grow up the way I did. He, he grew up just with a true love and passion for the game. So it's humbling and, and obviously something that I take great pride in. You were taken out of UNLV 1991, number 12 overall. Remember it like it was yesterday. And it's Jones with the ball for the Grizzlies. And that one drops for him. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. Yeah, the defender just couldn't quite close the gap all the way. He got burned for it. Memphis has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Stolen by Robinson. And it's Robinson with the jam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. Yeah, going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. Washington shooting has been just great so far, up at 56%. Here's Westbrook tipped away. It's stolen by Jones. Shoots over Brown, and it's Memphis with another. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Outside Robinson. Here's Bunga, and that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Tillman's shot is good. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. Brown feeling it out a bit. No good that time. Now Memphis takes it the other way. McDermott with it over Robinson. Now Jang. 
Throws up again. Tillman's shot is off. The Wizards shooting and hitting almost everything here in the fourth, up around 58% from the field. Pass to Len. Nice ball movement by Washington. Here's Westbrook. Tillman grabs the miss. Tillman's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Fires at the elbow. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Westbrook's got 35. Oh, he has this shot in his back. I mean, I like when Westbrook looks to shoot from there. Jones, no luck. Even when the D is playing off of him, the mid-range jumper shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. And it goes down two points. Bunga's got four this quarter. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. Here's Robinson, passes it to Bunga. Shoots over McDermott. Rebound by Jang. Memphis has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. The Anthony Melt, he's checked in for Memphis. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Raul Neto's checked in for Russell Westbrook. The Wizards shooting so far very efficient all around, about 55%. Round the pass to Len. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. Greg, after we saw top prospects like LaMelo Ball and R.J. Hampton playing a year in Australia, the NBA G League sweetened the deal to attract those blue chippers to this, uh, to this G League, which I think is a very interesting uh, topic and a, and a very interesting way to go. It, it is. You know, I think the salaries now could exceed a half million dollars, not to mention the endorsement deals. And they're on a single team that's built around their needs. Certainly an enticing option for those who want to skip the college route. Does this affect colleges, in your opinion, in their recruiting? Not at all. You're going to love your school no matter who plays for them, especially if you're winning. Here's Neto, lets the three fly. Robinson down low. He's against Chang. Robinson misses. Oh, if you can't hit that one, your teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time down. Here's Tillman. Falls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. Washington with the ball. Robinson kicks to Len. Round down low, and it's blocked. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. Oh. Off the inbound. And the dunk by Lynn. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for Memphis. Tillman's shot is off. Here's Neto. To the paint. Bunga gets the bucket. Oh, good interior offense. Those passes have to be right on target. Memphis has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Here's Melton. Rebounded by the Wizards. Land's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Neto. Sweet little floater. Neto's got 11 points here in just the second half. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Here's Melton. And again, Memphis no good. The Wizards shooting 53% from the field in the fourth quarter. Can't ask for more than that from your offense. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Grizzlies. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. 
Yes, so looking at the season total, this will be their 17th win. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for John ja Morant. I mean, he had a plan for how to attack the D. He executed and never let up. Relentless offensive basketball. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Ja Morant. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Without his heroics here tonight, this could have been a second straight loss for them. But he was sensational, and instead of a losing streak, he may have them headed in the opposite direction now. First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's McDermott, and the Grizzlies tack on two more. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. And the Grizzlies with possession. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. Here's Neto. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Brown outside. Down low. Bunga gets the bucket. Now, but sometimes you don't need a haymaker. Just, just a jab. You, you, you got to get those easy looks inside. Well, this one is winding down now. Memphis can watch the clock run out. And Memphis turns it over again. Wizards ball. Fifteen seconds left to play here in the fourth. Inside. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Oh, it doesn't have to break stride at all thanks to the money lead pass. Here's Melton. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Jonas, you have a lot on you in terms of patrolling the paint. How do you think you're doing? I feel good, you know, uh, there is a better game, there is a worse game, but, uh, you know, I'm bringing energy every game, I'm fighting, and uh, my job is take rebounds, set of screens, I'm doing that job. 
It's grunt work, but you're good at it. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.